Hey, hello everyone and welcome back to another episode of Road to Lighthouse. We are heading back to reserve. Uh we uh have a mission there. Last time we hit the reserve. It's uh well let's just say our trip ended early, but that's okay. You know, it's uh it's bound to happen. It's your boy Count 4 with Falcon Nest Gaming. Thank you for joining us. Uh if you find yourself enjoying the video, wouldn't mind a, a like or a subscribe. Appreciate you being here. Either way, our mission is Glucar, the boss, and six of his guards. And I forgot a flare, but we'll worry about that later. I don't know that we'll be able to do this in one go anyway. I don't know that he always spawns with six guards. I know he can spawn with up to that many. But first we'll have to survive long enough to find him. Ack, ack, ack. If you watched the last episode, then you'll get that joke. Um, <laughs> we geared up, we loaded in, blah, blah, blah. Just hit the marked room, blah, blah, blah. And, yeah, we got shot in the throat with a shotgun pellet. Uh, and with the rig that I'm using, of course, throat is the one weakness to it. Yeah. Uh, as luck would have it, that's a breach. Whoops, didn't mean to hit that button. Anyway, hope everyone's having a good day today. Um, kind of excited to be on reserve, not going to lie. I love this map. I've not gotten to spend a ton of time here. I've still got the FPS counter up from last time. Let me uh, get that off of there. Huge frames here. We know we're good. I heard someone. Anyway, um, our mission here is... Uh, is to get the boss man and his goonies and uh get rich and get out safely and of course I just heard a PMC so we'll uh take care of any friends we find along the way where is he holy what am I blind am I blind let's take care of the break here um, what a jerk. I'm using the green stem right out the gate, guys. Let's go ahead and put ourselves back together here. See if this guy decides to push. I love those stems, by the way. They're so, so useful. Especially in moments like that, where you just got into raid, and, like someone blows off a limb, and it's like, what? They can help you get back together pretty quickly. Look at that. Our arm is uh is good to go. And um wherever this jerk is. Let's see if maybe we can spot him this way. Moments like this I wish I had a flare. Because he's actually Oh, the, I see them. They're in there bitches and now the other arm's black let's get that uh, taken care of we got a heavy bleed now but I'm pretty sure we put that guy down well we're off to a hot start here nope there's another okay Uh, at least we reloaded, so that's good. I have a straight up empty magazine. So that's cool. Go ahead and heal up. And then maybe we'll push the other guy. Apologies for that. Uh, <laughs> I mean, it, it'd be like that sometimes, though. They spawned us right in here. Um, trapped with these PMCs next door. We've already had to replace both arms. So, limited health pool for both of our arms now for the rest of the raid. That's cool. So there's still another one for sure. So 
Uh, heal up a little more. And, uh, don't think we're actually going to take the grenade route. I got one more heal for this leg. Okay. Push out, circle around the back, and uh, if you can't get a window peek on one of these guys, like that, whoa, whoa, that grenade had to land right outside that window ledge, shocked we're not dead right now, honestly, wow, we uh, we know how to start them off, don't we? Well, we, uh, it's our third heavy bleed and third black limb of the raid. And we're like two minutes in. I'm going to head in here. I'm pretty sure we've got them now. Yeah. Wow. Let's put our, uh, arm back together real quick and then we'll heal while we're looting these guys. Uh, we would have been headed over this way anyway but welcome to reserve right <laughs> I wonder if we uh, if we actually killed the uh, if we killed the one we hit uh, with the window peek I'm not sure if we did or not but uh, I would be interested to know that tidbit of information but um, first and foremost, I suppose we should probably heal. I'm, uh, trying to, um, plug something in at the same time here, so apologies. Alright, let's get to, uh, some of the packing and looting here. We'll get some of that stuff going and, uh, get things moving in that direction. Uh, that... Went pretty well. I mean, could have gone better. I could have done without the black limbs, but all things considered, we can't be too too upset about how that went. So let's uh actually do this this way. Get that going first. That would be the smart way to go about it. Love the nades. We're gonna need those anyway. G36 is dope, so yes, that gun is insane, you guys. If you've never had a chance to use one, um, I could certainly recommend it. Wonderful, wonderful weapon. Okay, so we're going to put you there, we're going to put you there, and that'll just be a better backup situation, and then these are mine now, thanks. I uh, can't repair them but it'll be all right okay well that's a uh, all's well that ends well right <laughs> jeez boy this uh this grizzly is already getting some use huh they're worth their their weight in gold man I'm telling you grizzlies are amazing because they they do so much the breaks the bleeds they heal it all, um, aside from surgery. I mean, you got to handle that, but I um, almost don't even want to pop this mark room because I know all I've ever found in there is guns. And um, Let's just put you on there. I'm pretty sure that's probably all we're going to find again, but just to be on the safe side, we're going to check it out and make sure. Uh, not going to take that AK, though. We'll, uh, head this way. Do I need to heal anymore? No. Alright, let's get this marked room, and then, uh, we'll see where we're going to go from here. I mean, we've already had some, some good action. Oh, yeah, he was literally standing against that wall when I shot him. Okay, cool. Um... 
that answers that question. MK17, ES lamp, don't mind if I do. ESS, oh, yellow flare. Nice. Injector case, um, I'll take it. I think uh, that actually means we should probably pull that out, actually. It's just, uh, it's worth more, you know, just that simple. Oh, I never packed the, the, the rest of this mag. Let me get that taken care of. I'm going to fix something on my uh, headset here real quick and be right back. Okay, perfect. And came back just in time. That mag is packed and we are good to go. I'll make sure we got 40 rounds in both of those. It looks like it's a 30 round mag in the gun, so that makes absolutely no sense. How many rounds are in there? Oh, at around 20. Let's just do this. save ourselves the space put one of those in the chamber there that in there that in there and we'll have the flare there perfect now the flare will only become important if we actually find Glucar and his boys in this raid and kill them because we'll have to shoot up a flare um, I'm not sure where yet I didn't look at that because, again, we have to kill him and six of the guards. Ooh, SR2M, don't mind if I do. So, um, oh, MPX, what? Wait, what? Oh, that's this. Oh, we dropped that for a reason. Um, I didn't think we'd kill him and six of his guards in the same raid. Ooh, an ammo box, too. Dang. Uh, so I didn't <laughs> I didn't think we would need to be worried about it basically now that I've finally gotten my words out um, Let's see if we can find a way to fit in this ammo case because that's wonderful Yeah, good loot here too, which is why I was excited to come back to this map Really want to make sure that we're being uh, Efficient and how we're putting everything in I just I go through the trouble of doing that when I'm not in a dangerous situation so that when I am in a dangerous situation I know everything is where it needs to be and I don't have to second guess myself in the middle of a of a situation where I probably should not be second guessing myself as a matter of fact we're gonna bank that flare because we need one anyways and we're gonna um actually we'll make the silly with that. You're there and you're there. Saliva is gonna be more useful on our bar than that yellow flare, uh, at least for the moment. So little things like that that you can do to help yourself out. You're not gonna have time to do that when you're out in the open. Um, but when you're not out in the open, go ahead and get done what you can. You know, so that when you are running around out in the open, you don't have to worry as much about things that you could have been taken care of. Man, I've never found a key card in, in this room. Not one time. And I, I don't know if... I just don't know the spawns, you know, well enough or what. But I've never found one. So, doesn't look like this time is going to be any different. So, let's check this... Uh, Ammo over here, PP, and uh, we are gonna do what we tried to do last time was we came out of here and we went uh, over towards the bunker. We got to about right there, and out of nowhere, some scav shotgunned us to the side of the head, and one of the pellets got through to our throat and killed us. Um, but he shot us a couple times and, uh, like, he had me heavy bled, like, it was bad, and it was quick, and it was over, and it, so, hopefully we have better luck this time, because 
we still need to go check that area. Uh, Glucar does spawn there. And he and his boys will patrol that area, so. We gotta throw caution to the wind on this one, guys. Um, we are looking for the danger. So welcome to the boss hunt. Because that is what this is. And now, I took the opportunity to loot those guys and hit mark them, but ultimately we are here to find and kill the boss and his boys. So, that is what we are going to do. Oh. No audio. So that means they're either not up or they're not down here. And if this guy would stop puffing and puffing. I'm already not gaining stamina when I move forward. So. We'll have to keep that in mind. And I actually have keys for all of this stuff, by the way. So, I mean, you know, we're here. Like, I think I'm going to approach this uh, quest just as, like, casual. Like, hey, we're going to go in and play off the spawn, you know. And depending on where we spawn, we'll check you know, areas around that, but at the end of the day, there's, um, there's a lot of good loot to be had on reserve, and down here in particular, in these crates, I've found the military power converters, um, so a lot of good reasons to get these keys and check these, uh, these cages down here, um, very juicy. Speaking of juice, we got an injector case, we got an ammo case, I mean, those are... Yeah. What? Look at that. Man. Uh, I, we could do this. <laughs> no way, we can't do that. Jesus. 105 pounds? No. <laughs> no, sir, I can't. <laughs> we would, uh... We would get juiced, no question. We just wouldn't be able to move around. Hopefully this light's helping you guys. Um, certainly helping me. I'm going to be very careful not to double key here. You can double key here too because both doors are locked on both sides. And the same key would open either side. So just be careful not to do that to yourself. Um... This is a shame to spend money on a key like that and then uh, not get the most out of it. But the game will let you use them twice if you try to, so just be careful. Oh, such a nice day when you know you don't have to go anywhere. Two gas analyzers. Man, if I was on that quest, like, wow. Maybe this is the place you come for that. Because two in one box is pretty dope. Not gonna lie. I mean, look at all the crates here. Some apple juice. Yeah, you won't leave hungry if you come down here. I promise you that much. Matter of fact, wow. Look at our energy level. wonder what happened there. Um, why our energy level is so far down, I don't know, but we're going to take care of that real quick. Because, I might, did I forget to eat after the last raid, maybe? I don't know. Either way, glad we found that box, because I was evidently starving to death, you know. So what I do, just starve myself. Name of the game. Let's get some crackers for later. In case we find that we're starving again. 
because I'm so neglectful. My daughter tickles me because she always, uh, <laughs> she, she's always yelling at me to feed myself or do this or do that. And I love it. I act like I don't, but she knows I do. You know, she knows me pretty well. Love her to pieces. That's my youngest, and then my older daughters, you know, they don't yell at me as much anymore, but, you know, when I need it, <laughs> when I need it, sometimes we all need it in life, y'all. Sometimes we all need someone who really loves us to tell us something we don't want to hear, and I truly believe that. Um, I think sometimes we all get in a place where... We just need that voice of reason to be like, yo, you are in a weird place doing some weird stuff, but I love you, right? I'm telling you it can, uh, it can move mountains for people, so keep the ones you love close, y'all. And take good care of them. Propital, sure, yes. Please. Alright, what else we got in here? We got this thing. Yeah. Um, what did I forget to buy? Oh, I used an ETG. Well, Propital could take the place of an ETG. I mean, it's not the same rate, but it does give you health regen. And it lasts for a longer time, so. May just uh, not replace that ETG and use a Propital or an ETG, depending on the severity, because Propital does have other benefits, I believe, um, if I'm not mistaken. My son loves the metabolism, health, vitality, yeah. So you get health and vitality, and then health regen for 300 seconds. Oh, and the pain, ah... Uh, Right, painkiller effect. You also get the painkiller effect. So that, man, that's a powerful stem. Sometimes I wish I listened to him more. <laughs> right, I told you it was powerful. I know, yeah, you were right. You were right. All right, um... So much food. Wonderful. Man, we're not going to go hungry at all this raid, guys. We are, we are ready. Finally, some sugar. Last time I came here, I got so much. I was like, man, we're going to get loaded on sugar. But no. Although I can't complain. We've, we've gotten loaded on uh, other things. And we don't need the smokes, but we will take the food. Because that can actually help us survive. Smokes are only going to kill you. And, uh, not preachy, just, uh, you know, from someone who battled with nicotine for quite a few years, um, I managed to get free of it. It is a tough, tough thing, and my heart goes out to anyone who's dealing with it. Um, I don't say that to be preachy, I say that because cigarettes and, uh, nicotine in general, it's only gonna kill you, period. Um, and that there's just no other way to, to talk around it. That stuff is just no good for you. And, uh, if I had any advice to offer, it would be stay far, far away. Or if you're, you're dealing with it, um, try to find some way to, to get off of it. Because at some point you run out of time to make better decisions. I heard a scav. As I said, ow, the shotgun spam with these guys is just ridiculous, man. You jerk. How many times my arms have been blacked already this raid? Are you kidding me right now? <sighs> God. The freaking Saiga, man. Ugh. Anyway. We've got to uh, put ourselves back together again, guys. We're gonna go ahead and do that. Uh, I'm not gonna worry about grabbing anything this guy has. 
Uh, we've already repacked mag. So just fix our arm. Heal up and then we'll uh, uh, move on because we have uh, finished clearing this place and we're heavy. Oof, we're heavy. That is a good thing though. Wow, yeah, we got some healing to do. Guy uh, took a chunk out of us a little bit. Won't take us long to heal up though. We'll start moving away from that area. Um, obviously, Glucar and his boys aren't down there. But again, I don't, you know, to get back to what I was talking about, as far as like our approach to this, it's really just going to be go in, raid, you know, get fat, get loot, stay safe, because reserve can be so dangerous anyway. Um, and then when we run into them, we run into them. I'm not going to, I'm not going to worry too, too much about rushing them unless we get to the point where, okay, we five raids in or something like that. And we haven't seen them yet. I really don't think that'll happen though. I think they'll push us before we need to push them kind of deal. Speaking of which, ow, fuck hurt oh we got heavy bleed light bleed you name it we're, we're there right let's get this other bleed taken care of and then we are going to uh, test this propital theory go ahead and pop that get some regen going We got someone in that store. Let's go down. Put our arm back on. A little further away. That we have time to cancel and react. We'll let the propital do its work on the rest of us. Reserve is dangerous, Seal. Like, uh, it is not for the faint of heart. Uh, you're going to fight when you come here. Just know that for sure. Um, but I don't mind it, actually. That's why I was so excited when I saw this quest pop up. Because I've been wanting to just deep dive reserve for a while now. Like, the whole wipe, I've been waiting for this. So, for this quest in particular, I'm not going to rush... Uh, we're just going to take our time with it. I hope uh, you guys don't mind. I mean, it just means more raids on reserve. And as you can see, they are uh, certainly interesting affairs. Is this thing still ticking up? It is. 16, 17. Okay, yeah. I just want to make sure our healing isn't... Oh, I should uh, repack. I'll just listen for movement while we're doing this. We'll just hold this position. He's on wood, so we should hear him if he pops around that corner. Whoever him is. Speaking of which, I know where we are. Um, how much time are we? Oh, 12 minutes. We should probably start moving to, uh, to extract, honestly, y'all. Maybe look at a reset. Um, this light is going to draw attention to our position. So may or may not continue to use it. That guy got dropped. We didn't get a uh, quest tick, did we? No. Yeah. Yeah, I don't want to draw attention to us. So. Lights off. Oh wait, is train an option for us? D2, bunker, oh god. Ow, holy, wow. Again with the black lamb, man. 
Hey, look at that propital though. Look, it's still working. Okay. I could get down on that because the health regen is another hundred seconds. Yeah, propital is nice. It is not going to heal you as fast as an ETG, but that health regen is for every limb, so it's still powerful and good. All right. We got to figure out how we're going to get out of this alive, y'all, because uh, we clearly have someone who sees us. Out there, and um, I was wondering if the train would be an option for us. We've got D2 bunker, cliff descent, scav land. Oh, yeah, armor train. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, fine. So, train is where we'll go. But we gotta get heading in that direction. Uh, oh, saw someone over by the. Uh, By that other side. We'll uh we'll take the train since we're here. If the train's here, a lot of times this can be one of those hot areas um to come into, so just know that if you're coming here that uh you should be prepared for a fight. Oh, Yep, there's the train. So yeah, I think we should just get on the train, honestly. Um, we've uh, got little time left, and it's just the option right now that makes the most sense. Um, solid raid, though. I wish... Uh, <laughs> I don't wish anything. You know what? We came in. We survived. We didn't find Glucar and his boys, but I'm okay with that. Now there's someone I heard shooting. Wait for the train to depart. I'm waiting for the train to depart. I wonder. Oh, no, that's a. Uh, Stay on the train, right? Probably dumb of me. Should probably not be doing anything stupid. Should probably just wait for the train to depart. Right? <laughs> we got the warning beep. Oh, yep, we're leaving. Bye, y'all. Hey, we made it out safe. Success. Hard to argue with the uh, successful extract. You know what I mean? So, no glue car, no guards. But we made it in. We got uh, nice and fat. And we made it out alive. And four kills. Okay. Got to call that a win. I'll take it. Yeah, it's just so hard to check that uh, 
bottom bunker area without uh, looting it up because it's just so, so juicy. Good, good loot. So we're going to load it out here. Let's see where we're at. Once Tarkov responds. Come on, man. Alrighty. That should take care of both. A little crackers on the side. That'd be alright. Okay, yeah, we uh made it out. Oh, we got the ammo box out. That's huge actually. And the injector case. Also huge. Um, matter of fact, yeah, what are we doing? Put this back down here. That was there because of the injector case. Save those. Yeah, we got a decent amount of stuff out, guys. Decent raid, I'll take it. Wow, yeah, we actually did fill up quite a bit, didn't we? All right, um, grab another nade, grab some more ammo. If we have any of this expensive stuff, and it is expensive, make no mistake about it. Um, okay, I think we're good there. Some quick repairs. Um, I know, Maxter, blah, blah, but. To me, it's just better to have it um, full and ready to go. I don't like going into raid knowing that I could have made repairs and didn't. Unless it's on the gun like the spear, I'll wait on something like this. I'm not going to repair that, you know, obviously, but on a rig or something, I really don't worry too, too much because your plates... Until they get shot, shot, you know, that's when they're going to take their damage, so. All right, I think we are ready to go back in, and uh, yeah, we're just going to head right back in to reserve, y'all. Let's, real quick, we'll go ahead and list, whoa, injector cases are hot right now, actually. Let's get that puppy on the market, that is nice. And then we, uh, what else do we, oh yeah, this guy. Hmm. About what I expected. So, back in this we go. So for anyone who's still here, again, thank you so much for being here. Hope you're enjoying yourself. If you are, feel free to drop a like on the video and um, come back for more because there's going to be a lot, lot more. Um, and reserve the performance is exceptional. I'm wondering if... Uh, is that still running offline too? I would think that that map would be just as intensive as Lighthouse. I wonder why the performance of Lighthouse in particular is so, so bad offline. Interchange too, I think. Um, I don't think I'm capping frames in either one of those maps where I should be. All right, hope we get a good infill. We shall see. I hope that whenever we do run in the glue car, we're ready for it. Because that fight can be intense. Alright. And again, we're just going to play off the spawn. Um, where we are right now, it just makes sense to head into one of the barracks and loot up. Take it from there. I've not spent much time looting in this place, so... Yeah, again, I, uh, whoa, whoa, that makes me think our boy is present, and already picking a fight with people, oh, I'm sorry, y'all, let me turn this light on, apologies,
Yeah, that was uh hard to say if that gunfire was down below. If it was down below, it could have always been raiders and PMCs, but man, it did not sound like it. Um. crates in here. This a little longer than we're looking for, thanks. Alright. I thought we had searched that one. Alright. So we can go downstairs. Which we don't really want to do. Wow. Weapons crates. Yeah, there's a gun that when it fires is wasn't a ringing in my ear. Is that like a special of the boss or something? Is this something that maybe you guys know that I don't? I don't see anyone out here, but, um, yeah, we're just going to keep looting and I'll, uh, I'll peek when we have the opportunity. We're going to make it, uh, probably all the way up to the roof eventually and we'll, uh, we'll have a look-see. Maybe we can get some long-range kills. Ooh, CMS. Ooh, AFAC. Ooh. I think we hit a bit of bit of a juicy room here we will take it we will take it all right what do we got in here see much of anything there Uh, hmm. Okay. And this place is huge. It's going to be so easy to get confused, but we got this little army bandage action. Besides, if uh, big boss man and boys are up, they will uh, undoubtedly eventually come for us. Because we are going to be out and about, moving around, and more than likely we'll eventually draw their attention. Um, plus, again, uh, I enjoy this map. I really do. I want to learn it front to back, top to bottom. And the only way to do that in Tarkov is, is to do just that. All right. You want to learn how to play the game, you have to raid. Simple. You don't want to raid, scav. Um, but do something. Um, you're not going to learn from your hideout. You will learn from watching other people or watching videos and things like that. But you're going to learn a lot faster and a lot more by experiencing these things for yourself. Sorry, quick drink before we head out here. Alright, now we heard a lot of gunfire from over here. And a lot of times... 
Blue Hive and his boys are over there, so. Tell if that was someone's shoulder or what. Fire off around and look for movement. But I'm not seeing any. Don't see anyone around the uh, gas station either. Okay. Well, we're going to head that way because if he is here, that's probably where he's going to be. Um, and then we'll take it from there. Try to funnel you here, don't they? Alright. And out in the open on reserve, this is one of the scarier things you can do in Escape from Tarka, in my opinion. Uh, because between there and potential aggro, and here and potential aggro, you can get covered on all sides before you realize what has happened. Someone threw a grenade. Oh wow. We may have found our boys. That just got interesting fast. I probably should not repeat this. Of course I'm going to. That guy's dead. and a bleed we got to take care of. Um, let me do this. We'll get that going. It's going to be faster. And it'll save our uh, serve kit. Now the uh, ATG will heal us. I'm going to pack up while we can. I don't know if this is the boss or just a bunch of PMCs, but either way, when you have an opportunity to uh, reload or heal or whatever, my suggestion is you take it. Um, as prepared as you can while you can, because at some point they will push. And if you're ready for that, you can take advantage. Holy shit. Oh boy. That guy's fucking cracked, man. Oh. Holy shit. Come on, heal. Heal, heal, heal. Get that bleed done. Wow, guys. Oh, holy. I need to reload. I need to reload. I need to reload. Reload. Okay. Heal. A 
lay down. Wow. Um, well, that was uh, certainly interesting. Let's get surgery going. Meanwhile, we'll uh, we'll loot up and uh, see uh, how much we can get situated before we get pushed again. And in this situation, I'm going to do a little different. We're going to uh, we'll do the surgery and then we'll heal up just to uh, make sure that again we get the most out of the surgery. Put these up there and replace that. We'll go ahead and uh, drink this milk. Yeah, we're taking care of it all right now. Uh, we'll get that there. Because you have to. You really never know. When it's safe. To, uh, it's so heavy, but it is the most efficient way to carry all of it. I want those plates, and I can sell the slick, so we're taking it. New latch, that can be sold too. So let's um, get some reloading going here. We'll continue to heal with... Uh, With our AFAC that has the least amount. Um, yes, I'll take that grenade. And we'll take those two, thanks. Okay, heal. Well, are we done healing? Wow, really? Okay. That's as, uh, as good as it gets, eh? He's done. Okay. I am hearing more voices out there. That doesn't make me feel comfy, though. So we're going to repack while it's quiet and while we have um, a chance. Because we burnt through some ammo there for sure. That was uh, That was awesome, though. Another one of those moments I'm glad I have recorded, you know. I'm so glad, actually, we started doing this because uh, I've been able to capture quite a few very, very cool things that I wouldn't have otherwise. And so for anyone um, who's here, thank you for the support because it's that support that is uh, pushing me forward. So I appreciate it. Let's get this last magazine and then we'll move out. Wow, we've taken some uh, some hits this time. Oof, boy, I have to remember to repair that. Jeez. At some point, we ate a headshot. And if not for that bastion, our journey would have been over. I promise you. Oh, we got a scav here. Oh wow, so many. Why are there so many? It's like every PMC on the map. How? Like what? 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 Man. 
That's ridiculous. I swear I headshot that guy. Like, oh, I'm gonna review that footage for sure. Oh, I swear he ate the headshot. I swear he did. Uh, Tora Paiga. I don't even know who that is. Oh, look, guys. Guard, guard, guard. Yeah. But hey, this is a good chance for us to check and see if we die, if the quest progress sticks. Because if that's the case, even though we died, that was still a successful raid. I mean, look, it was... We, we we killed three guards. We killed so many PMCs. I really feel like I killed that last guy. Um, you know, so I gotta call that a win. I mean, but I do want to check uh, real quick before we uh, end it off. I'm not gonna have you guys sit through another ring gear, and we're at 55 minutes, so we'll have to pick it up in the next episode. But I do want to check and see if we did. We got credit. Nice, three of six. Okay, so we can die and keep progress. So all we've got to do is kill Glucar, which we were very close to doing just then. I guarantee that that big group within that big group was, was him and some of his cronies, and there just happened to be a bunch of PMCs around, so that's why it felt like there were so many. Um, okay. The world makes sense. Look at this. Proper has our kit ready to go. I mean, it's almost like he knew we would need it. And I guarantee if I look in here... Oh, nope. No rigs. Hmm. Well, that's fine. Either way, there's our kit. And uh, we'll, <laughs> we'll pick it up in the next episode. Thank you so much for being here. This is Con4 with Falcon S Gaming. And I'll see y'all in the next one. Peace.